Smart V-mount battery power bit distribution can get kind of confusing. For example, SmallRig's VB99 Pro Mini has a 100 watt total power budget, but how does it get divvied up to all of the ports on the batteries? Well, first, power is handed out on a first come, first serve basis. Whatever you plug in first gets its power reservation set first, and it doesn't lose it. So how much power is reserved? Well, for the first USB-C device that's plugged in, that could be up to 100 watts. However, once you've already plugged a USB-C device in, the second port will be capped at most to 45 watts, or however much power is left out of that 100 watt budget. For the DC ports, they reserve their full output power, 36 watts for the 12 volt port, 24 watts for the 8 volt port, even if your device doesn't use that much. But the good news here is that once you've reserved power by plugging something in, that power is locked to your device until you unplug it, or the battery turns off. That means your camera stays powered on even if other gear starts to push the battery hard. But if that's the case, don't expect extra ports to turn on unless there is enough power left in that 100 watt budget for that to happen. For my whole take on the small rig VB99 Pro Mini, check out my linked video.